Umningagwa orders parliament to finalize PVO bill. President Emerson Umningagwa has directed the 10th parliament to expedite the finalization of the private voluntary organization's PVO bill. A move critics argue will significantly restrict the operations of non-governmental organizations NGOs and further shrink the civic space in Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwean government initially introduced the PVO Amendment Bill in November 2021. Citing the need to counter terrorism and prohibit political lobbying by non-governmental organizations. However, civic society organizations have vehemently criticized the bill. Asserting that it seeks to curtail their activities through stringent measures that would place them under direct government supervision. This supervision includes monitoring financial transactions and granting the state the authority to shut down NGOs deemed to be acting against government interests. A revised version of the bill, which introduced even more repressive provisions, was passed by the Senate on February 1, 2023. Despite widespread concern and expectations that the bill would be scrapped due to its failure to complete the legislative cycle. Uningagwa has included the PVO bill among the list of pending instruments awaiting action by Parliament. In his address, the President emphasized Parliament's responsibility to expedite the enactment of all outstanding bills from previous sessions, including the PVO bill. May I preface the legislative segment of my address by highlighting that Parliament has an obligation to expedite the enactment of all bills that, for one reason or another, are outstanding from previous sessions of the August House, Umningogwa stated. In total, approximately 18 bills are set to be processed by the 10th Parliament, indicating a busy legislative agenda ahead. Other significant bills include the Zimbabwe School Examinations Council Bill, aimed at enhancing the efficiency and governance of the ZIMSEC Board, the Teaching Professions Council Bill, which will regulate teachers' conditions of service and establish a code of conduct, and the Occupational Safety and Health Bill. Additional legislation on the agenda includes the Service Pensions Bill to establish a State Service Pensions Fund. Amendments to the Public Service Act to align it with the Constitution and revisions to various acts such as the Rural Electrification Fund Act and the Public Entities Corporate Governance Act. Also slated for consideration are the Legal Practitioners Amendment Bill, Protection of Whistleblowers Bill, Electronic Transactions and Electronic Commerce Bill, and the Broadcasting Services Amendment Bill. As these developments unfold, the implications of the PVO bill on civil society and civic engagement in Zimbabwe remain a pressing concern for many stakeholders. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.